Hello everybody, my name is Tucker, and welcome back to our Russian Fishing 4 float fishing character. Uh, today I logged in uh, right before midnight, ran over here to the same spot we were in last night, and went ahead and set up on the two bottom, or on the two float rods, I put a size 0, or size 1 hook on, on the bottom rod, and I thought I had done this. I left a size 4 hook on there, I meant to remove the feeder and didn't. So I'm going to do that real quick. Because right now I've got carp bait in there, and we're not carp fishing. We are bream fishing. Don't really have a plan for today, other than I'd love to hit level 16. So we'll see what happens here. Um, probably should have increased the... Well, this one should... Yeah, this one's still at a pretty reasonable... I forgot that I had switched over to using both Ella sticks. This one's still at a, at a 1.5 meter depth. Seen some decent dreams in chat already. I have not seen a bite. I've been here. Actually, I had to record the intro three times because I'm an idiot tonight. One time I pressed the button to stop the recording when I went to put a rod down. The other time I said, welcome back to our spin fishing character. So it's been a day. Kind of tired. I ended up doing some work in the yard this evening. So a little bit worn out today. First bite of the day. It's a bream, but it's a small one. I would like to say level 16 should be pretty easy to get. We only need somewhere around 5,000 XP, 4,000 XP. Right at 4,000 XP. But who knows? I'm already feeling like it's a little slow. I'm a little concerned there. I did not look at the cafe or anything before I came out here. It was late enough that I wanted to just get out and get set up for brain fishing. Don't have any points. I couldn't remember if I had any points on this character or not. I had forgotten on my spin fishing character to spend a point. This is a good fish. I wanted to check over here. A good bream. I'd add a kilo. That was about 700 experience points. Not a bad fish. Amazes me how many people just want to coordinate. Don't think on their own. Do any research on fish. 
Hey, you got a brain. Where do we go? Granted, I do use VK and things like that, but at the same time, I also look at other spots that are not necessarily being advertised. Well, in the green heart that we caught the gibble at yesterday wasn't on VK. It had been in the past, but it wasn't today. yesterday, the day before. Plus, it just kind of makes sense. You want to go for the deeper spot. Dream like to hide. Honestly, the six meter hole has been good for me in the past. I thought about going there. And Max is on the brain, sure. Many Max, I guess. Honestly, I may just go back carp fishing after this and see what we can get. Either that or go try sleeper fishing again. Hey, Peppa figured it out on his own. Nice job. Thinking about coming over in this area and going sleeper fishing. Like a bigger bite right here, or a bite here, really. Who we've gotten have not been amazing fish. I did check and I think we had a, uh, actually it was a gibble that we had. That was US Weekly. It's a white bream, but now that I think about it, it was that trophy gibble last night. And we did get knocked off the US Weeklies there. Which I expected to. Well, that was a good fish. It was not an amazing fish. But it was a fish, and right now, there ain't no fish in the lake.
I do think not having cream ground bait slows things down considerably. Oh, fishy fish, you want it. Fish take bait now. Peter Rod has a fish on it. Got one on the bowler rod. On marker. That's a decent one. Marker at least. This is about the time I hooked the big common carp yesterday. Which I realized I didn't even include in the video just now, but oh well. I think it is going to be worth trying sleepers. Not in the mood to fish carp. May actually go. Before I go do sleepers, run by and check the cafe and see if there's a bunch of carp orders that may change things. I didn't remember how much silver I had. 422, not bad. Ooh, always would like more. It's like everything in life. In a nibble again, so kind of tightening the line up a little bit without trying to make sure I don't move the float in doing so, though. And it looks like I might have accidentally moved it a little bit because whatever I was nibbling on it stopped. Got it. Small bream.
2,800 experience points away from level 16. Again, 16 does open up quarry for us. We'll see. I haven't done float fishing there in the past. So it may be an interesting thing for me to try and figure out the best spots for. I tend to use quarry as a spin fishing lake. If you watch my spin fishing character, you would already know that. Spent. I actually got up to 16 pretty quickly over there. About 10 episodes behind on that character and already at quarry. Probably actually going to get to 17 tomorrow there. But a lot of the fishing we did prior to that on this on that account had XP bonuses, so we're hurting on silver. Long rod, Tucker. Another non marker. Get the feeling this bream night is not going to be super profitable. Using the size four hook feels like, well, we're still catching breams. We're getting a lot of non markers on the bottom rock. And I'm not surprised the telestick is not getting any sort of bumps. Just can't quite get out far enough. Probably stay here till about uh, 10 o'clock in the morning and then we'll move over. Still digging for worms when I can't, when I can, when I remember to. Got it. That might be a white bream. Nope, it's a 1.2 kilo bream. Bad. Especially for the telestick. The reason I say that is that telestick's a little bit short. It was. As long as this rod, we could probably get it out as far as we I think this is a seven meter. No, it's a six meter where this is an eight. So we're two meters less de uh, distance on it. I think this one's a beat. That yeah, is. And it's a bolo rod, so of course he can pass too, but you can even see the difference just looking at him there. 
from this angle might even be better. Another diggy dig standing in the water. 39.3%. Headphones are starting to give me a low battery warning. That's a little concerning. I run out of battery. I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to pause then or cut it early because that's the sound source I use. So oh, if I lose them, Lose game audio, which isn't the end of the world. It means it's harder to hear the bottom rods, that type of thing. All right. Go ahead and move. Go back to town, go look and see if we want to do anything different. But right now I think I'm gonna go um sleeper fishing. The reason I took the hook off the bolo rod is I will probably not use the bolo rod if that's the case. Just because I don't need the distance on it. Gibbles, roaches, tench, chub. There's two gibble orders, but nothing major. Three one kilo breams. Did we actually get that? One, two, we did not get three one kilo. How much time was left on that? Plenty of time. I may fish some breams this evening. See if we can't get that. That's a nice, easy 30 silver, but not a big deal. One of the spots where I don't remember the coordinates, I just remember what it looks like. All right, I want to use a size one hook on this one, night crawler. It'll be closer to shore. It's too deep. Oh, I was deeper than I thought I was. I was at a meter. Still too deep. I uh, eighty. Eighty's perfect. And I want to put the walrus stick back in place. With, I'm going to do a size 8 hook on this, at least temporarily.
also with 80 centimeters. I'm back here. And on the bottom rod, I'm going to leave the size four hook on. And let's go with a red worm on it. Let's just see. Not need to cast it as hard as it did. Is not the start I was hoping for. It's gonna be a slow day, I think. And it's gonna start raining. Alright, so Redworm got a secretion. In, I need to adjust the clip. I don't need a 17 meter clip on here. It's a perch. Not exactly what I was hoping for. Rain may bring eel into play here, but I don't know. Usually they're more of an evening fish. What I might do is if I go back to the same spot we were, I may leave one of the bottom rods or one of the float rods on um sorry weird noises from outside I may leave the float rod on eel instead the telestick on eel Wind has picked up and some leaves are blowing into the side of my house. I think. Weather's supposed to get real weird here tomorrow. Supposed to be mid 70s, basically room temperature um, during the day and then below freezing at night with possible snow. And then 30s the next couple days, single digits for those that don't use Fahrenheit. Mother Nature's getting drunk. I will say, this is not what I wanted today. This is way too slow.
brain complicated everything. I didn't realize it was going to do that. That was my fault for not checking the forecast. I do think we go back and go stream fishing, maybe go a little bit long today and see if we can't get it. Stream. One just rolled over and put his head on my, my hand. I had to give him a scratch and now slid around a little bit there. happy dog because part of the yard work I did was putting the fence up that I've been trying to get up for the past week or so. Between the rain we had late last week and putting a uh, key post into my foot. I hadn't had a chance to do that yet. He was definitely excited about that. I took him off the rope I had him tied up on in the backyard and in around good old zoomies style but zoomies and a 70 pound dog is fun picked up his stuffed animal toy that he had out there too and throw it up in the air and have a lot of fun he was thankful got one more section i need to put up there's more trees over there so he's less likely Jump the fence on that side. Need to get some more T posts. That. This is painful. This is almost a I need to move situation. Of course, the game hears me say that and goes, Oh, you're thinking about moving? Here's a bite. And my mouse just disconnected. Give me one second. Unplugged and plugged the mouse in. There we go. Now it's going to work. All right. You heard the bling blongs from Windows. That's why I didn't get over and mute because I didn't have a functional mouse. I've got a. Actually, now that I think about it, my microphone is set to mute based off of a mouse button push. I couldn't even mute my microphone there if I wanted to. I don't have anything set up to mute desktop sounds. So here's what I uh, or was wanting to fix a mouse so bad I didn't even look at what I got. It was a uh, gibble. Back there. More where I want it.
So we've been fishing here 36 minutes, only got 12 fish today. So today has not been a number of fish day at all. I do think we go back and fish for some bream tonight, especially since there was that order. Trying to figure out if there's a fish over on rod one. Seeing the float move. Wind's not strong enough really to make it do. Especially since I was watching the two floats and only rod one was moving. It made me think there might have been a really small fish. Not even able to pull the float down. I think we go bream fishing and leave the telestick set up for eel and hope to get luck. Might even put a one out hook instead of a one on. Hella stick with night crawlers. Switch over, switch back over to the uh, bolo rod and bottom rod. Float on rod one's definitely moving again. Something just to keep an eye on right now. Ouch. It's a marker at least. I think the rain scared off any chance of sleepers. Should have gone carp fishing. But I was already over here and didn't really want to reset up everything, remove, run. reason I was looking down there was I was looking at what time it was. I can't read where to hit, where the time is in the upper right corner. Moving it down into the green stuff helped. But the clouds, it's just a white blob. misread the wind there i thought it was 52 meters per second no it's blowing winds from the south at two meters per second 52 meter second wind good god fishing in a Russian hurricane.
noticing Rod 1 moving around quite a bit again. Last time when fish finally decided to bite, it was quick, so I want to be ready for it. I'll also keep an eye over on two just in case. There's definitely something moving bait right now. Winds out of the south. It's moving towards the south. Out there. Eight PM, nine PM I'll wanna move if I'm gonna move. Which I am gonna move, I know. Oh come on. And all that time for nothing. Go catch some carp while we wait. Actually, let's go try a different spot that I know I have some luck at for a few minutes. Stay here for an hour or two, see if we get anything. Go Bremen. Well, that was promising. Even if I missed it, that was definitely promising. Not really what I want. I think I actually lose money every time I get a perch. I think the night crawlers cost more than that perch is worth.
Got about 45 minutes in game before I want to move. Head back over to our bream spot. Marker perch, big marker perch. It's close enough to move in time anyway. Let's go ahead and head over and get set up for Bree. Oh, come on. I'll be right back. And we are back. Stupid snags. Gonna run back over to the same spot we were overnight. And let's go ahead and size one hook on this with garlic dough. Is that one out? Let's take the size one. Uh, we didn't have a size one hook on here anyway. We'll take the size eight off. Polo rod back in that spot. The size one on it. Garlic dough. I am going to try. And do the dumb and leave this set up for night crawlers. Let's see if we can't get a deal. We only need 900 experience points to level up to 16. I'd like to get that today, too. We need one more one kilo cream for a cafe order. That's kind of the goals here. Get a bream. Get a 1k bream. That'll level us up. Or get a huge eel and that'll level us up too. But with it not raining, hold my breath on a good eel.
fishity fish. Bite my fishity fish. I would like a fish. Now I can hear. Or now I can. Now I can hear both floats. Now I can see both floats. I may need to just grind up ground bait. Eh, not big enough. Little deeper with this. You can go one point five and then do a fifteen meter cast. Out there a little far. Let's see if that does any. Seeing everyone else catch bream tells me that ground bait got to help. Bream ground bait needs, I'm pretty sure it needs 30% into ground bait. So that might be what I do between episodes is make a bunch of ground bait and see if I can't level that up. There are a bunch of strategies online for the most cost, of, cost efficient, cost effective way to grind up skill. Make a lot of trash bait basically that you end up throwing away, but at the same time, if you make all the crucian gibble bait that you need to get up to level 30%, you make a bunch of Stuff that you'll never use either. I don't know. Kind of thinking out loud for our next steps here. Got I logged out and changed all my friction brakes. Are you one kilo? I think you are. Hope you are. Yay, we got the order.
today's gonna suck either way so getting the order at least makes it suck a little bit less that's 30 silver for those three fish Uh, it may not suck anymore. Eh. Not as amazing as I thought. At least we got up to level 16. Actually surprised that was as small as it was. Felt like it should have been a lot larger. That's, I want to say that's better, but after the last fish, I don't know. It is. Curious about something. Yeah, we did catch our. Up oh, yesterday, we caught our two thousand fish. Interesting. Been fishing. I've caught a thousand fish, and in my higher level, that proves the bonus XP was worth it. But the silver production was lower. At least. At least I think it was. I don't know exactly. I feel like I've gotten more silver on this account and spent more silver. Because the two... I remember correctly, the two aura sticks were not exactly cheap, but not exactly expensive either. I want to say four to five hundred a piece. We really, on the other account, we only bought two the bottom rod kits. We never had, or on the uh, spinning account. Only bought two of the bottom rod kits. Never had to buy an upgraded spinning reel because they gave us one. So I don't know. This feels like we're behind over there. I think I'm going to go ahead and call it here. My uh, headset keeps giving me a low battery warning, which you all aren't hearing, but getting annoying for me and I'm getting worried that I'm going to lose game sounds so
day wasn't the best day. We did get to level 16. Only caught 20 fish. Probably only made 50 silver before the 30 silver we're going to get from the cafe. So maybe 60, 70 total. At least that's my guess. Thirty-six. We did not make as much as I. All right, bream. Sort by weight. Sell the three smallest. There's thirty and a half. Uh, got one there. Didn't get. Didn't get a big roach. Um, uh, well, so nothing else there. So. Let's see what we ended up with. 24, so 54 silver on the day. Not not my best day. It happens, honestly. You all are seeing live fishing for me. So up to 477 f silver. Um, between episodes, I got to decide what I'm going to do. I may grind up ground bait fit using ground bait, which I think we're... Yeah, we're not that high at all but to make good ground bait for cream we need to grind that up so that's what i think i might do between episodes but we'll see i appreciate everyone watching we'll be back again tomorrow everyone has good tight lines and we'll see you then bye bye now